Well, Steve, uh, history made tonight. First time you've actually donned a shirt, come out on the pitch. <laughs> that was only out of um, helping the boys out because they look absolutely knackered. You know, um, for a long time with 10 men, for 12 minutes to go, I thought I'd try and burden the load off them. It might have hindered them more than anything Jim could end up losing. But this is one of those with. Um, that's, that's not what we're back for. I'm not looking for excuses, but we've got to start keeping clean sheets. And I believe when we keep keep the back four, we'll, we'll be all right. Um, good, tough, friendly. You know, two 0 Thought we was comfortable cruising. Um, Chris Kinnear's had to play right back. Blue is left back. Um, two young lads who played for the 21s last night coming and didn't disgrace themselves. Um, who else? I thought George done well since he's only just come back. Follow Lee Stoney done well. Uh, they all, they're all done all right, mate. The result, result does matter tonight because uh, a bit of pill to swallow losing 3 2. Some walking wounded, though, which is a little bit of a worry. Of course it is, yeah. Um, Andre had his foot stamped on at the end when he tried to, tried to get that rebound in, ripped his boot, done his toe. Uh, Liam hamstring, Callum's ankle went again. Um, Scans' knee weren't right. Alex McCrofe's hamstring, hope to have them back on Saturday. Uh, Sonny Moles phoned me at four o'clock because his his wife was getting uh, contractions, so hopefully everything went all right there, and, and they've had a beautiful baby. Uh, Dom was going to start tonight. He phoned me in the afternoon. He had uh, some family issues, um, which again I wish wish him and his family all the best. So it, it's one of those, you know, you, them two young lads come in at four half four this afternoon. So credit to them for making it here. I, I watched them last night and had a chat with them after the game. All of them. And they've shown a bit of desire to come tonight. Um, and like I say, put out on the pitch earlier than expected. And they've done okay. They've done okay. They know different levels. But yeah, we've got a lot, lot out of them in it, Jim. Um, so in fairness, you had some real selection challenges tonight. Oh, without a doubt. And I knew that. Obviously, when Sonny and Dom, that's, that's two more that have gone. So I've had to juggle it about, play people out of position. Um, first pre-season, they've got another 80, 90 minutes under the belt, most of them. Uh, so... We'll take that into Saturday. Um, as long as there's no three points lost on it tonight, you know, we can iron out anything that's gone wrong. But I can't be critical of them because, like I say, Bluey's gone in at left back, you know, Chris Kinnear right back. So they're playing in positions they're not used to. You know, we try to be a little bit braver and go three at the back, four in midfield and two up front. I thought Nathan was isolated. And with players that aren't used to what we do, it's, it's a little bit difficult for them. So give them credit, you know, we lost. It's disappointing to lose, everyone hates losing, like I said to him before the game, no one likes losing, even it's a game of cards. But listen, with what we had out there, you know, including a, an old, old fart like me, um, for <laughs> 10 minutes, they uh, they done all right for themselves, they did do all right. The young lad for them on the on the right, he, he, was, uh, he looked quite a, quite a player, didn't he? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Listen, I'd like to, as a higher leagues would like to watch my players and see what they're like during the season rather than a pre-season friendly. Um, but no, they had some very good players. Rob, Rob and his team here have, have uh, equipped themselves well from, from last year. They've built on what they had last year, added some good players to it and, and they'll be they'll be up there. Uh, I won't put the, put the mockers on it but I think they'll do well next year in that league after watching it last season and uh, they've improved them massively since last year when I watched them a few times. So. I hope they do well this year because uh, I like Rob a lot. Turn it, turning to Saturday and we've got Slough Town. Very interesting game there because I think that's the first pre-season friendly where we're actually playing a team at our level. That, the problem with pre-season is it, you're either above or below but this time it's absolutely level, isn't it? Yeah, well, speaking of Neil Baker, I used to play with and John Underwood, you know, that's what we wanted for the last game, a, a real test. So, providing I can get a, a good 11 out there, we can give, we'll give them a good game. You know, if it's mix and match like tonight, then... They've got a very good side and, and they've invested well this year with their new ground and they're, they're looking to push on. So they missed out unlucky last year in the playoffs. They've got a very good side, a very good squad. So it's going to be a tough game. Um, but if I can get my full quota out or, or majority of them out, we'll give as good as we get. You know, and it's one to look forward to. So that's a one o'clock kickoff yeah. at Longmead and then afterwards a social where supporters can meet some of the players. Yes, yeah, so supporters if they want to stay and meet players, but again it's more for the players to, to integrate with each other and have a few beers and, and enjoy each other's company um, because on the training field and games uh, you don't get to, to bond like that. So it, it's for the players as well so that they can integrate um, and for the supporters if they want to stay behind and have a chat with a few of them, new ones, old ones more than welcome but the players will be there to have, have a few few beers and enjoy themselves for, 
preparing for the last week of our work. Definitely, definitely. Well, well done tonight, Steve, despite the result. Cheers, Jim. Thank you.